Let's talk about this very famous, very well-known book, uh, Cracking the Coding Interview. You may have seen this book around. I see so many people talking about this book and so many people recommend this book. So first of all, shouldn't you even read this book? Um, I think it kind of depends on your goals as a programmer. So this book is called Cracking the Coding Interview, but it is actually covering a very specific uh, type of interview, which is the algorithms and data structures interview. If you are a front-end developer or back-end developer and you're going through the interview process, there is a chance that your interview might focus on what some people would call more practical problems. So if you're a front-end interview, maybe it focuses on a very front-end specific question. And those are very different than algorithm and data structure questions. So this book really covers algorithms and data structures. and Again, in your interview, uh, it depends on the company, but you might not actually get an algorithms and data structures question. Typically, it is uh, FANG companies, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, that ask the algorithm and data structure questions, but this can vary. So first I would figure out uh, what companies are you interviewing with and are they going to be testing you on algorithms and data structures? And I would use that to determine if you even need to read this book, because if you are currently in the interview process and you're trying to study up on all of the front end or the back end knowledge that you need, and then on top of that, you were trying to study algorithms and data structures, that could be a lot when maybe you aren't even going to be tested on algorithms and data structures. If you aren't going to be tested on algorithms and data structures, then you don't need to read this book. Now you can read this book just for fun if you're interested in algorithms and you're interested in getting better at these leap code type of problems, but you don't have to. And like in many cases, um, say you're interviewing as a front end developer, most of your interviews are probably not going to touch on most of the things in cracking the coding interview. Long story short, you need to figure out, are you going to be getting these algorithm and data structure problems in your interviews? and if you are not going to be getting those types of problems in your interviews, then you probably don't need to read Cracking the Coding Interview. If you know that you are going to be interviewing at these companies that test you on algorithms and data structures, then reading Cracking the Coding Interview is 100% worth it. That said, uh, I wouldn't read it cover to cover necessarily. I think there are two ways to go when it comes to reading this book. So first of all, you need to figure out, are you completely new to algorithms and data structures? If you have never really read about algorithms and data structures before, and if you feel like a beginner, I would not recommend starting with Cracking the Coding Interview. This book is kind of like a manual. There's not a bunch of beginner-friendly explanations. I would go for something like the common sense guide to data structures and algorithms. That book starts off at a much more beginner friendly level. So if you were just getting started, then I would first read the common sense guide and then I would proceed on to this book and work through as many problems as you can. If you have learned about algorithms and data structures before and you really just need to brush up then I don't think it's worth it to read Cracking the Coding interview from cover to cover. I think the best thing to do in that situation is to look at the book, look at the table of contents and try to figure out like what areas you're rusty in or what problems or data structures you really need to review or get better at. Figure out your weaknesses and then spend time studying those particular chapters of the book. All in all, I definitely think Cracking the Coding Interview does a fantastic job of covering all of the algorithms and data structures that you are likely to see in an interview that covers those types of topics. I don't see it as being the most beginner-friendly book, so people I know that tried to read it as beginners, they definitely needed to supplement as they were reading this book. Uh, they picked YouTube videos or different online courses, so I definitely kind of keep that in mind as you're reading. Okay, let me know what you thought in the comments below.